Welcome back to the channel, time for a Tesla quick tip. The newest Tesla app update has brought a cool new feature. That is the integration of Apple shortcuts. You will need version 4.24. And one thing to note, this is a tip inside a tip. Even if you have auto updates on, the Tesla app will not update on its own. At least for me, it does not. You have to manually go to the app store, search for the Tesla app, and then even then on the list, it'll just say open, it won't show update. You have to click on it and then you'll see the update option. You now have Tesla commands in the shortcuts app. Stuff like this has been possible with third-party Tesla apps before, but now it's available to everyone. The biggest advantage of shortcuts is going to be the ability of using voice commands with Siri. You can use the ones that are already listed or customize to your own voice command, which is pretty cool. You just have to rename it to whatever you want and whatever you choose will be used as your voice command. You can also place these as a button on your home screen so you don't even have to open the Tesla app. Long press on your shortcut, you'll see share, then add the home screen. You can even pick a custom icon and there it is. You can also create custom shortcuts with a few different functions. Really, it depends on your individual needs, but here's an example of your unloading car and you want to open up your trunk and your front at the same time. We're going to add a shortcut, rename it to whatever you want. Then add action, obviously you can choose Tesla. Let's say open trunk. To add another function, look at the bottom, you'll see the search option. Uh, look at Tesla again, now we're gonna add the trunk and we're done. You can also create automations, such as turning on sentry mode at a specific time. I use this one because I really don't want sentry on at home all day, taking up useless footage of kids going in and out of the house, but I really want it overnight when hinky stuff could happen. So we're gonna choose a personal automation. There's a few different options to choose from. So I'm gonna do time of day. Then we're gonna pick an action. Obviously we're gonna choose Tesla. Uh, pick up sentry mode, then you have the option to enable or disable. And this time we're gonna enable it. And then again, do the same thing for disabling it in the morning. Like I said, these are customizable to individual needs. Everyone's gonna be different. So I'd love to hear what kind of shortcuts or automations you guys are using. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed tips like this one, don't forget to like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Tesla quick tips. Again, thanks for watching. Drive safe, drive electric. We'll see you next week.